<laughs> so I'm in the cathedral. Um, step one is to ask permission to shoot in here and they know Fanshawe students come here and photograph but if you see someone just ask permission. Um, I asked them to turn the lights on and they did so it was nice they don't mind us being here at all as long as we're kind of quiet and respectful and if anyone else is in the cathedral uh, just be respectful of them. Step two is kind of scout the out and find out your camera location where you think your vantage point what you want to capture might uh, where it might work. Step three would be to make sure your tripod is nice and sturdy, all the handles are cranked down, and your camera is level. The levels that come with this camera, with the Sino cameras, are a little bit wonky because they have some play in them, but they do work. Uh, you can maybe get creative and find a flat place on the lens to level it out uh, this way so it's not aimed up and down, and level it out this way so it doesn't have a tilt to one side or the other. Uh, the next step would be to make sure that the lens is zeroed out, meaning there's no swings, tilts, shifts in it, there's nothing in it. Right now this is just a 24mm lens, wide angle. We're going to shoot at about f16 to get some maximum depth of field. I'm going to manually focus one third into my shot, which is some of these pews up here. Um, and manual focus and manual exposure. Uh, we've used a light meter to kind of determine that uh, at f16 we're about four or five seconds the sun is changing just a little bit it's popping behind clouds so that's affecting the light that's coming in through these big stained glass windows but we're going to stick with about uh, our base exposure of f4 or four seconds at f16 so we'll shoot that and set it for and that's what the lens doesn't have any movements in it at all what I want to do is move the front of the lens up a little bit just to get less of these pews and a little bit more of the arc and the top and the ceiling up there. So you can put on live view to do this and just crank it up just a little bit. Lock is off. I think about there will work. Lock it back down. Turn live view off. And F16 looked pretty good. I checked the histogram quickly. Uh, so we'll stick with that. And I'm going to start by two, three, two, three. Our long exposure, so we're gonna um, expose for the shadow detail. It's about a 15 second, 16 second exposure, so this is a longer one. And this, the highlights are gonna be totally blown on this, but we're gonna pick up some of the detail that's in the shadows of the pews and up in the ceiling. Um, Oops, wrong way. One, two, three, about eight second exposure. One stop over expose. We want these five uh, exposures to put to piece together for HDR. Our normal exposure again with the uh, movements in the lens. Two seconds. We're starting to expose for the windows now, and the last one will be one second. That's it. So you can review your images, your histograms, make sure you got them. The last thing to do is once you've got this, is try another angle, try another uh, vantage point, maybe further down or another detail. But you're here, you've got the lighting figured out, shoot a few extra shots.